now let us discuss about carry look ahead adder in short we can call as cla adder it is mainly useful in order to overcome the drawbacks of ripple carry adder or parallel adder so this is the circuit diagram for both ripple carry adder as well as carry look head adder the circuit diagram is same only uh, here we have four full adders uh, for the first first uh, here it is a parallel adder so parallel adder means all the inputs are supplied to the full adders in parallel if you take the first full adder it accepts a not b not c in as the input and it produces c not and s not as the output so we have to propagate this c not as input carry to its previous full adder but there is a delay in propagating this carry that is the problem here let's take this full adder so this second full adder accepts a1 b1 s1 as a1 b1 and c0 as the inputs and it produces uh, c1 s1 as the output so this full adder has to propagate this c1 as input carry to its previous full adder but here the problem is there is a delay in propagating that carry to its previous full adder so that is the problem with ripple carry adder or parallel adder the circuit diagram for the uh, ripple carry adder as well as carry look ahead adder both are same only so let us see the drawback the main drawback of ripple carry adder or parallel adder is we have to propagate the carry in sequential from one stage to another stage so likewise in sequential manner we have to propagate the c0 to the, its previous full adder uh, we have to propagate the c1 to its full adder its previous full adder so we have to propagate the carry in sequential manner from one stage to another stage but there is a delay in propagating that carry so it is very very slower process so in order to overcome this problem what we are using is we are making the use of carry look ahead adder it is very very faster it produces the outputs in a speed manner than ripple carry adder or uh, parallel adder let's see how we can do that generate all the carry bits before the actual addition starts carry look ahead adder the name itself specifies the meaning so look that means we have to generate we have to calculate ahead means before so before calculating the sum we need to calculate the carry the name itself specifies the meaning look generate calculate carry bits before performing the addition on sum before performing addition on actual bits generate all the carry bits before the actual addition starts okay so before producing the sum we need to generate all the carry bits so that means we need to calculate c3 c2 c1 c0 in terms of c in in terms of uh, input carry that is c in we have to calculate all these four carries here we should not bother about s3 s2 s1 s0 why because the name itself specifies the meaning calculate only carry bits before the uh, sum operation on the actual bits okay uh, let us see here for that uh, here uh, what we are doing is uh, we are taking the second full adder the second full adder uh, for the second full adder what are the inputs a1 b1 and c0 are the inputs a1 b1 and c0 are the inputs where your second full adder produces c1 as the output in order to calculate the carry here we are making the help of the second full adder so we here we have three inputs so totally we will have 2 power 3 that is eight combinations so all the eight combinations are written here we are calculating only carry 
we should not bother about what is s1 why because here our aim is generate carry bits okay uh, here 0 plus 0 plus 0 means carry is 0 carry is 0 carry is 0 1 plus 1 means sum is 0 with a carry 1 we have to write only carry so triple 1 means sum is 1 carry is 1 okay so here we are written here we are writing only carry okay uh, now let us calculate uh, uh, c1 here he, if we observe c1 carom here we have four ones here we have four ones okay let us observe the first one what is first one 0 1 1 0 1 1 means a1 bar b1 c1 a1 bar b1 c0 a1 bar b1 c0 whereas second one means a1 b1 bar uh, c0 a1 b1 bar c0 third one means a1 b1 c0 bar a1 b1 c0 bar fourth one means all ones so a1 b1 c0 if we observe the first two, two terms c0 is common so c0 is common so remaining combinations a1 bar b1 plus a1 b1 bar if we observe the last two, two terms a1 b1 is common so a1 b1 is common so remaining c0 bar plus c0 c1 equal to so c0 plus this is in the form of exclusive r so a1 exclusive r b1 plus a1 b1 we know the formula for uh, a plus a bar a plus a bar equal to 1 only so c0 bar plus c0 equal to 1 only so 1 into anything is nothing but that anything only so a1 b1 so c1 equal to so we can write this as here we are interchanging we are swapping these two so a1 b1 plus plus a1 exclusive or b1 into c0 okay likewise we can write the ith term ith term so ci equal to in place of one we are writing the i so ai bi plus ai exclusive or by 0 here we are calculating for i so this is nothing but i minus 1 so i minus 1 why, why because here we got 0 here we are finding for 1 so this is nothing but c i minus 1 this part a and bi is called as carry generator whereas ai exclusive or bi this this part is called as carry propagator now let's see what is carry generator and what is carry proper carry generator what is carry generator the carry will always be generated irrespective of the input carry so here the input carry may be either 0 or 1 but this output carry should always be 1 only so for these two ones what are input carry combinations 1 1 1 1 so that is nothing but a1 b1 so plus this the second part is now known as carry propagator so carry propagator means uh, the carry will be propagated from from input carry to the output carry if we observe this combination this combination here in the carry propagator he, here what we are doing here this carry is propagated from the c0 to c1 if we observe this combination also the carry is propagated from c0 to c1 okay so the carry will be propagated in which situations when the inputs are 0 1 when the inputs are 1 0 so 0 1 means 0 1 means uh, a b a 1 b 1 bar uh, plus uh, uh, this combination 1 0 means a 1 a 1 b 1 bar so that is nothing but exclusive r only so carry propagator means that carry has to be propagated from the input carry to its output carry so here the carry is propagated from this input carry to output carry so here the carry is propagated from this input carry to the output carry okay so what are the combinations 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 okay so here the input carry is always one the input carry is always one so that's why here we have taken into c naught so directly also we can write this formula from this truth table very very easily so a1 b1 so a1 b1 means carry generator so carry will be always generated so that means carry will always be 1 irrespective of input carry is 0 or 1 so this is nothing but a1 b1 a1 b1 plus this part is nothing but carry propagator part what is carry propagator part the carry will be propagated from input carry to the output carry when when the input carry is only one when the input carry is only one so c naught input carry is nothing but c naught into this combination a1 exclusive or b1 so here we have uh, c i equal to a i b i plus a i exclusive or b i into c i minus one so this part is carry generator let us assume that this is denoted by g i where g stands for generator carry generator plus this uh, let us assume that this part is propagator carry propagator let us assume that it is pi pi stands for 
propagate. So here the formula is C i equal to G i plus P i C i minus 1 where C i stands for output carry, G i stands for uh, what is G i here? Carry generator, P i stands for carry propagator, C i minus 1 means input carry. Now we have to find out C naught, C1, C2, C3 by using with C i formula. If i is equal to 0, then we can easily get C0. So, in place of i, substitute 0. So, C0 equal to G0 plus P0 into C i minus 1. Here, what is i value? 0. So, C0 minus 1. C0 minus 1 is nothing but C minus 1. But here, the input carry to the first full adder is C in. We don't have any C minus 1. So that's why we have to take C in in place of C minus 1. Why? Because for the first full adder, the input carry is C in. So that's why here in place of C minus 1, we have taken C in. Now let us find out C1 in place of I substitute 1. Then C1 equal to G1 plus P1 C I minus 1. C1 minus 1. That is C0. So G1 plus P1 C0. Already we know the formula for C0. G0 plus P0 C in. So let us substitute that value here. G0 plus P0 C in. So after expansion, this is the equation. G1 plus P1 G0 plus P1 P0 C in. G1 plus P1 C0 P1 G0 plus P1 P0 C in. Now let us find out C2. In place of I, we need to substitute 2. So, C2 equal to G2 plus P2 C2 minus 1. That is C1. Okay. We know already the formula for C1. So, let us substitute C1 value here. So, this is nothing but the formula for uh, C2. So, likewise, uh, uh, this is the formula for the C3. So, now we, ga we got C0, C1, C2, C3. Now, let us find out sums also. S0, S1, S2, S3. We know the formulas for the full adder. For the sum, the formula is a exclusive or b exclusive or c. If the input bits are a, b, c, then the sum formula for the full adder is like this. a exclusive or b exclusive or c. If you take the last full adder, last full adder accepts three inputs such as a3, b3 and c2. So here s3 equal to a3 exclusive or b3 exclusive or c2. Now let us derive a3 exclusive or b3. We know about AI exclusive or BI is nothing but carry propagator PI. Now in place of I, if you substitute 3, then what is P3? P3 equal to A3 exclusive or B3. So in place of A3 exclusive or B3, we can substitute P3 now. So P3 exclusive or what is the remaining variable? C2. So C2. Likewise, what is the formula for S2? A2 exclusive or B2 exclusive or C1. A2 exclusive or B2 is nothing but P2. So, P2 exclusive or C1. So, that is the formula for S2. For S1, P1 exclusive or C0. P1 exclusive or C0. For S0, P0 exclusive or C in. So, now we have 8 outputs such as C0, C1, C2, C3 as well as S3, S2, S1, S0. So, now we have to draw the circuit diagrams for these 8 outputs. So here the carries are very very important. Sums are, it is your choice. You can draw the diagram for the sum or it is optional. Why? Because here what is our aim here? We have to calculate carry before calculating the sum. So we have to, we must draw the circuit diagram for the carry. So drawing the circuit diagram for the sum is optional. Now let us see the Logic circuit diagrams, uh, in a single diagram it is very very uh, difficult uh, to draw the diagrams. So that's why we have taken uh, two diagrams. So this diagram is for carries, output carries, whereas this diagram is for sums. If you take uh, C0, the formula is G0 plus P0 into C in. So here G0, P0 are the, these are the input lines and this is the C in input line. Uh, so, what is the formula here? Uh, 
वॉट इज द फॉर्मुला हियर जी नॉट सो जी नॉट प्लस पी नॉट इंटू पी नॉट पी नॉट इंटू सी इन सो दिस इज नथिंग बट अंडिगेट अंडिगेट सो दिस अंडिगेट परफॉर्म्स ऑपरेशन ऑन पी नॉट एंड सी इन वेरियस दिस इज आर गेट सो आर गेट रिसीव इनपुट फ्रॉम जी नॉट एज वेल एज दिस इनपुट इज नथिंग बट पी नॉट इंटू सी इन सो दिस इज नथिंग बट सी नॉट आउटपुट लाइक वाइज इफ यू टेक सी वन द फॉर्मुला इज जी वन सो सी वन रिसीव्स थ्री इनपुट्स दिस आउटपुट रिसीव्स थ्री इनपुट्स सो सो दिस इज नथिंग बट आर गेट सो वी नीड टू परफॉर्म आर गेट ऑपरेशन ऑन दीज थ्री इनपुट्स सो फर्स्ट इनपुट इज जी वन सो जी वन प्लस वॉट इज द सेकेंड इनपुट पी वन जी नॉट सो दिस लाइन रिप्रेजेंट्स पी वन दिस लाइन रिप्रेजेंट्स जी नॉट सो पी वन इन टू जी नॉट नेक्स्ट थर्ड एंड गेट रिसीव इनपुट फ्रॉम सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट इनपुट सो वॉट इज द इनपुट पी वन पी नॉट सी इन सो फर्स्ट इनपुट इज पी वन सेकेंड इनपुट इज पी नॉट एंड थर्ड इनपुट इज सी इन ओके वी हैव पास इट दीज थ्री एज इनपुट्स टू द आर गेट सो द आउटपुट इज सी वन सो लाइक वाइज यू कैन ईजीली ड्रा फॉर सी टू एज वेल एज सी थ्री आल्सो नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू द सम्स वॉट इज द फॉर्मुला हियर एस नॉट ईक्वल टू पी नॉट एक्सक्लूसिव आर सी इन ओके सो पी नॉट सी नॉट पी वन सी वन पी टू सी टू पी थ्री सी थ्री सो पी स्टैंड फॉर कैरिटी प्रो कैरि प्रोपगेटर सी स्टैंड फॉर प्रोपगेटर एज वेल एज जनरेटर सो दिस इज द फॉर्मुला हियर हियर वी हैव Uh, if you take here here uh, generator is not needed g uh, s not equal to p not exclusive or c in okay so here the inputs are p not c not p1 c1 p2 c2 p3 c3 why because here the expression sums are in the form of parity carry propagators as well as uh, that carries okay so what is the formula for s not p not exclusive or c in so this line it receives input from p not as well as c in so this is nothing but s not next what is the formula for s1 p1 exclusive or c not so this output line represents s1 it receives input from p1 as well as c not next s2 formula is uh, p2 exclusive or c1 so this line represents p2 this line represents c1 exclusive or operation s2 next s3 means p3 exclusive or c2 okay so likewise we have two diagrams one diagram for uh, carries and another diagrams for sum here this diagram is very very important why because here what is our main aim our main aim is to generate the carry before generating the sum operation okay so this diagram is very very important uh, you can draw this diagram also for the sum so this is about uh, carry look ahead adder in short cli adder